see that. I think it's on now. We are going to try and find a bush maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can you hear that music? It's Wait, wait, wait. Maybe. They have been keeping us up for several nights, and tonight we will catch the bush baby. Except n not me, because my fan is so loud, but I'm just looking out for Jeremy. So let's not go. Will. Hi, my name is William Stokes. And I'm Ashley Dalton. And we're both students here at Memorial University, Newfoundland. We're also involved in a society called Mon Hope, which is a student-run society that educates the community on critical global health issues and advocates those issues to create positive change. We also offer a unique volunteer experience for selected members to enhance their roles as activist leaders. So this year we went to Pemba Island in Tanzania. Myself and Will went, Maggie Gobel, Ashley Blagden, Katija Saji, Laura Chubb, and Jeremy and Tracy Dyer. During our project, we wanted to open two HIV support groups and strengthen two others around the regions of Pemba. We held two festivals, one in Faraha and the other in Vichengoji. Here, Zafa Plus leaders educated and empowered the community members about HIV and AIDS. They also staged plays where they urged the importance of being tested and to not fear knowing their HIV status. To open two new HIV support groups, Zafa Plus leaders offered educational sessions on HIV and AIDS, its treatment, prevention, and stigma, and the importance of getting tested to Pembini and the region of Vitengoji. My most inspirational moment happened during the second festival at Vitengoji when a Zafa Plus member, Harub, got up and spoke to the crowd about how he was the first person to speak out against HIV and AIDS. His strength and courageousness has inspired me to never be afraid of my own voice and to always speak out against causes that I believe in. My most challenging moment was essentially with communication. Yeah, especially when he can't listen. Well... <laughs> I'll let you guys decide. Yeah, you'll be on my side. I don't think so. I do. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's make points to consider. Point one. I clearly stated that we should have a time and a place to meet. And point two. No, okay, no, 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 fine. No, fine. No, he, no, these are my no, points. No, no, no. You can't add on your points to my points. Okay, point. These are my own okay. points. Point, no, go ahead. point one. After you did say that, I said, how about you go to stationary, we'll run up in five minutes. No, no, oh, no. Up, that Mina. is no, not that true is. at we went all. Up, and I said, either meet us where the scarves are, or we'll meet you here. Why do we need a Tom? We can meet right here. Do not go on that Dalla Dalla without us. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> okay, so we've settled this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, go. <laughs> what? Go. Go. Look at the camera, too. <laughs> Wait, I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> During the day, um, we split into four groups of two. Two of these groups went to the districts of Michiwene and Waite, and the other two groups stayed in the town of Cheke Cheke. Uh, essentially, all four groups worked with Zappa Plus, which is a local NGO that stands for Zanzibar Association for People Living with HIV and AIDS. And um, one component of our work with uh, the Zappa Plus members was a prior, a week prior to our arrival on the island, uh, select Zappa Plus members were given a uh, week-long intensive business training. And so then our goal was to work with them and other members of Zappa within their districts to um, help establish a sustainable business so that they could have a sustainable income. The greatest inspiration during this project definitely corresponded to um, the problem of a man taking over the Zappa Plus member's business. Uh, I think why this particular experience is so inspirational is because this wasn't just an issue of someone taking over somebody else's business, but it was an issue of gender inequality. And so when um, one of my students, Ms. Asha, finally stood up against this man in front of the him and the leader of Zappa Plus and talked about everything he had been doing in the past few months. I found that so inspirational to see her defy the social context for society and stand up for her rights. My most inspirational experience on this trip was when the Freedom Torch, which was carried all throughout Tanzania, was brought to Pemba Island and it stopped into Zappa Plus while we were there. 
The fact that this powerful symbol of freedom was recognizing Zaffa Plus was really inspirational as this celebration was showing the unity between the members of Zaffa Plus and the other members of the community in a society where people living with HIV and AIDS are very highly stigmatized. After returning to Canada and reflecting on all of our experiences in Tanzania, we decided to take action and by making a change in our community. One example of how we did this was by organizing conferences for high school students from all over Newfoundland, whereby they were given the skills to make a difference. Throughout November, Mon Hope planned an event for World AIDS Day. On December 1st, we held an event all across campus to promote awareness about HIV and AIDS. This event was inspired by the Freedom Torch Ceremony because it was about creating unity between those living with HIV and AIDS and the other members of the society, since there is stigma here in Canada just like there is in Pemba. Working in Pemba and experiencing this Freedom Torch Ceremony made this event so much more personal and important to us. In this video, we want to leave you with some parting advice, some of the wisdom that Mun Hope has learned on its overseas project. So listen up! Number 10, don't be fooled. A dollar dollar is never full. Only the bucket of water on top is full. Number 9, call to prayer at 5 a.m. is always the best way to start your day. Number 8, African downpours make the best showers. Number 7, be prepared for rice, the food you love to hate. Number 6, expect meetings to start two hours after the planned time. Number five, don't make friends with your neighborhood chickens. They might be your dinner. Mm, mm, mm. Number four, always expect a power outage. But you know, they also make the best dance parties. to block out bush baby noise. A. Earplugs. B. Music. Or C. A very loud fan. Number one. Since coming back from Tanzania, we wanted to figure out the average number of greetings said per day. The number we've come up with is 55.43962. Plus or minus the population. Is that right, guys? Yeah. That's, good. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. See ya! Bye! Bye. 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 Have a good day! Bye! -bye. Hey, 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 hey,